Hello everyone. So someone is asking me on the YouTube channel on how to compute for the gain of the antenna and how to predict the antenna pattern. Basically, if we do it on the theoretical computation, it's beyond my skill because the degree of compute computation is too complicated because it basically requires advanced mathematical skills on computation on method of moments so what I'm doing is to use uh, antenna simulation software which is this one for NEC2 an antenna simulation software to compute for the gain of the Yagi antenna that I'm designing. But first, we need to compute individually for the elements length of the uh, antenna. As we can see here, I have a Word document that says 10 elements Yagi design at 145 MHz. We have a reflector, driven elements, and 8 directors. All of those are computed using the formula for wavelength computation which you can find easily on the internet when using this data on 4 net 2 you have to divide the elements length by 2 because you have to input that on the negative and positive y coordinates of the antenna elements I'm using as equal spacing for this antenna design which is 0.314 meters or 31.4 centimeters basically before you can use 4 net 2 you have to make sure that you set the length unit or unit of measure to meters you may use other measurements but the most convenient way of using 4 net 2 is use the set the unit of measure to meters so that's what we are doing here I'm going to input the data that we com we have computed on the geometry editor of Fornec2 as we can see here on the Fornec2 geometry editor we have symbols, geometry, source load, frequency ground others this is the ad, other settings for geometry editor and the comment section so we put in the comment section 10 element shaggy equals spacing so let me explain some important features of this geometry editor on the symbol side basically this corresponds to variables in the equation this is called symbols in for neck 2 as we can see here the definition is HT this is my own definition is antenna height of 3 meters with respect to ground R is equal to tube element radius we have reflector driven director 1 up to 8 so as we can see on the measurements that we have computed that is basically divided by 2 on each element so geometry editor the next tab is basically where you put the measurements the actual me measurements in Cartesian coordinates or XYZ axis first you have to define the type of the antenna that you are using for simulation so usually it's wire type tag is the number of elements segments is you have to divide the antenna elements into segments for accurate antenna simulation so the requirement is you must use add numbers of segments the important uh, point in on these segments requires the use of the source load in which you divide the driven element into equal parts 
and you use the center segment as the, as the source load or the feed point of your antenna design from this antenna simulation software so let me show you how to how we do that how i did that so basically x and x axis is the length of the boom so you have to define it in the coordinates so first i set it to negative 0.314 meters because it's on the negative side of the x axis I set the driven elements at the s exactly center uh, po uh, point of the coordinates which is zero so I set the driven elements on both x1 and x2 so the other settings uh, is basically the same length of spacing with incremental increase of 0.314 for, for each element so this is basically on the positive side of the x axis up to the end of the last element up to the last element so 0.314 just in, add it incrementally 0.314 plus 0.314 is equal to 0.628 so until you finish the length of the boom So y1 and y2 corresponds to the length of the element. The reason why divide, we divide the, element, the actual elements to one port wave length is we need to combine it on the negative y and positive y axis of the coordinates. So negative reflector, positive reflector, and up to the last director we have that setting here these uh, variables will take the values from here so HT is the height of the antenna this is useful if you want to simulate the antenna with normal ground but when you are simulating in pre-space this doesn't affect the computation of the antenna pattern in game so R is the radius, we already have the data, so we are ready to compute for the gain and ante predict the antenna pattern of this 10 element shaggy. So what we need to do is just click the calculator, click on the power field pattern, set the frequency, you can put any frequency, but we are interested in 145 megahertz. So we just generate the data and it will output the gain and the antenna pattern. So gain is 11.9 dBi on this antenna design. We have the geometry, antenna geometry. This is the feed point on the source load as we can see here. So this is the exact design that will be output by the NEC editor using our antenna measurements. So let's redo that, generate, and we have the antenna pattern. So if you want to see the beam width from vertical and horizontal plane, we just need to click this screen display the pattern display and press jig on the keyboard and it will show the beam width and the other parameters as front to back ratio if you want to see only the vertical plane we just click on the vertical plane and it will show the beam width 50 degrees front to back ratio is 14.6 gain is 11.93 if you want to see the horizontal pattern just click on show horizontal 
we have a beam width of 40 degrees on the horizontal plane and same front-to-back ratio and gain. If you want to see everything, just click on show both horizontal and vertical. So the other parameters that, that we can see are the current magnitude. So as we can see here, we have the current magnitude on the antenna pattern. Another interesting part is this gain as color. So we can see the actual pattern in colors and gain, the corresponding gain based on the color of the antenna. Based on the color of the antenna pattern. So that's it. That's how you compute for the gain of the antenna using 4 neck to simulation software and also predict the beam width and other parameters of the antenna rather than just guessing or imagining about how your antenna would actually perform so it's better that you simulate your antenna parameters so that you have at least an idea or baseline of what you would like to expect from your antenna design so this antenna simulation software is very useful when designing an antenna so as we can see here on the result of the R simulation we have 1.22 SWR uh, efficiency of 100% radiation effectiveness is 99.33 or radiation efficiency we can also compute for the frequency sweep as we can see here we have frequency start we have let's say we have 142 to 148 frequency step is just point five so generate so as we can see here we have the same pattern the frequency sweep from 142 to 148 our lowest drop is 1.0 at 144 megahertz so basically when you manufacture the antenna you just need to get the measurement of the elements and you can proceed with the manufacturing by cutting the elements and align it with your boom distance separation of each element put a matching system and test the antenna basically you are done in, and if it works normally wa what shows on the computation here especially on the SWR results is basically very close to what you can obtain in your antenna final product when you use a simulation software like this so it's more easy to adjust your elements if you want to design it on another frequency rather than cutting it manually on your actual prototype. So antenna simulation is very useful in when designing or doing a home brewing for your antenna. So I, bas I can highly recommend uh, for you to learn this and learn how to use it so that at least you can have an idea on how your antenna would perform in actual environment so that's it at least uh, somehow you have gained an interest on how to use this antenna simulation software and if you are inclined to continue your antenna journey 
you can just search for the software in the internet there's a tutorial on the Fornec 2 page that you can read and follow the simple instruction and familiarize yourself with using the antenna simulation software that's it thank you for watching and at least i hope i have imparted a little knowledge on how to design your antenna and how to predict your gain and antenna pattern thank you for watching